Thanks for coming to our training. I'm really pleased to be able to meet you. And just tell us what your name is and where you came from to come here. My name is Ethan Brazell. I came from Pennsylvania, just outside of Philadelphia, and I work for the Elwin Davidson School. And we serve the, uh, the most diverse population in the country as far as children with special needs. Mm -hmm. So we've got kids that are every level of and every definition of a, of a student with special needs. And it's actually the oldest school in the country as well. So How many uh, students would you have? We have r roughly 280 this year. True. So, uh, and we also have residents that live on campus. There's older folks that are no longer students that live there, um, that work there. It's a 400 acre campus. Um, and the kids that, that in the actual school are six to 21 years old. Mm -hmm. So that's our population we're serving. And how I came to, to learn about aquaponics was uh, first through your videos, mm -hmm. but also my background was in wildlife biology. Okay. And, and organic farming and anything nature. So I was always pursuing that avenue. And uh, I have a wife and two kids at home. So I was looking for ways to produce good food for us to keep us healthy as possible. They mean more than anything to me. And uh, so I started pursuing a system that I could build on my back deck and we could grow food and have it for us at home, just a small scale system. So I started buying the equipment and I had to see the bell siphon for myself to believe it. I had yeah, to yeah. build one before I could They're really amazing, get they? unbelievable. Yeah. From day one, my little boy came out and helped me test it, and we saw that thing go, and the first time it went down, it was there was no turning back. Ah, they're a thing of beauty. Unbelievable. <laughs> they really are. And uh, so that's as far as I got with it at home, and then something hit me. Why don't I take this to work and let my kids help me put this together? Yeah, these are the special needs children. Special needs about. children. Yeah. And uh, I work specifically now with 14 to 21 year olds and we already were going out and working in wildlife refuges and uh, uh, CSA farms that we have on campus, native plant nurseries and trout nurseries. So they had experience in these areas. And this was kind of a culmination of all those things coming together. So I figured I'll bring this in, we'll set it up, maybe it'll be fun, maybe they'll get a kick out of it. Well. From the first day I brought it in and started to explain what we were going to be doing, they started bringing me drawings that they were making, just based on what I said. And, and what struck me right off the bat, these were kids with autism that words don't usually mean a lot. Visuals is what makes sense to them. But I just talked to these kids about it, and they got these visions in their head, Absolutely. which is it's out of the amazing. ordinary. Yeah. It's out of the ordinary, and they were bringing me these beautiful colored drawings that I got laminated and hanging in my office now that were just fantastic and I started getting these ideas of is this the is this the tool that I've been looking for to reach some of these kids it's not that they don't they can't learn it's not that they can't be involved it's that they haven't found the way to be successful in their own minds to, to interact with what we're you know what they're being taught communication is that difficult is uh, that, it is yeah. it is and depending on the disability sometimes it's extremely difficult mm -hmm. so the first thing I noticed not only were they doing backflips to come and work with me on it but when there was kids in crisis kids that were really having a hard time with whatever it might be that day I could direct them into that room and they could sit down and they immediately calm down everything about them Isn't immediately. Amazing. They, st they would breathe deeper settle down they would look at me they would look at the system and we would just start to have this conversation and and I mean kids that were really having a difficult time in some mm -hmm. really bad situations they would forget about that. Isn't that great? It's just unbelievable. It's beautiful mm -hmm. and uh, and so once it really got up and running now not only can they come in and see it all and be near it but now they can start eating it and tasting it and understanding just why we did it. And Total involvement. Totally involved and and we have, and again, like I said, we have kids that are in wheelchairs, up into kids that are emotionally disturbed that you might not ever think that this kid has a disability. But every single one of our kids, and they're extremely diverse, can come in and interact with the aquaponic system on a level that's meaningful to them. Isn't that fantastic? For an educational tool, that's just astonishing. It's really, beautiful. It? And it opens this channel up, and suddenly they're, they're willing to listen, they're willing to absorb this information and they're, well, I'm teaching them water chemistry and, and the physics of the movement through the thing and the, and the biology of the fish and the plant and they're absorbing it and retaining it and telling me about it 
responding to my Isn't questions. Right? It's this tool that yeah. opens this channel that I never knew existed. Isn't that fantastic? It's you know, that's a really, really good experience because it just demonstrates the magic of aquaponics, doesn't it? It does. There's something about it. I don't know what it is, but it excites people. I don't know either. <laughs> and it's great to see that it's got that kind of effect on those people that need so much, isn't it? It is. Yeah. And, and I feel it personally, and I feel like, you know, my, my compliment for you was that you presented in a way that you attract a specific type of person. And when I'm, I spend a week here with these people, this has been one of the most stimulating things I've ever, you know, there's maybe three things I can count in my life that have been this stimulating and life-changing. So I thank you guys for getting mm. us here together and getting these brilliant, mm. beautiful people from all over the world together to have these conversations. And, and it's just so nice to know that there's good people like you guys out here that are making these same decisions. Well, a good part I find about it is that I meet so many nice people. Yeah. And the interaction of information between people is just fantastic. Mm. And uh, this, this event's been particularly good um, because of some of the trainers we've got here. Um, mm. It's just been magic, hasn't it? And some of the people as well, like you, you're a very interesting bloke. And the story you've got to tell is just fascinating. I, I had to come because I had to, I wanted to tell you personally that message because it was so meaningful to me and I've seen what it's done for the kids and everybody that gets to kind of listen in on what we're doing uh, that it's just I had to share it. I couldn't just hold it in. Well, I'm really glad you out. did. <laughs> Great stuff. Thank you so Thanks much, Murray. My pleasure. Thank yeah. you for having me. Thank right. you for coming. Yeah.